All right, and that's all. You will see that it will work perfectly well. So I'll show you right now. Let's select what's above, which is all the pre-processing steps. So command and control plus N to execute. All right, pre-processing, well done. We are good to go. And now we can create our classifier. So yes, let's do this. If your E1071 package is not selected, you need to select that as well. So command and control plus enter to execute. And here is our classifier. Awesome. So as you can see, it works perfectly well. The classifier is well created using only those two informations. And when you think about it, well, this is all we need to train a classifier because we need the information of the independent variables and the information of the dependent variable so that it can learn the correlations between the independent variables and the dependent variable. All right, so that makes sense. And now we can create our vector of prediction y pred using the predict function on our classifier and on our new data, which is the test set. So here we go. Y pred is created. Let's have a quick look. Y pred. So for the first time, we're obtaining something here. Remember before when we entered y pred in the console, we had all the predictions listed in the console. But here we have this factor zero here. So that means that y pred is a vector of factors, but with no factor. So it's basically an empty vector. And that is because the naive base function of the E1071 library didn't recognize our dependent variable vector purchased as a categorical variable with zero and one factors. So far, the libraries and functions we've been using recognized the dependent variable as factors, so we didn't have any issues with our predictions and we didn't have to encode the dependent variable purchased as factors. But here with naive base, it's not the case. It doesn't recognize the dependent variable purchased as factors, so we need to encode it as factors. Because as you can see, if we try to compute the confusion matrix below, we will get this following error message. All arguments must have the same length. Well, yes, indeed, we have a problem because the two arguments here are test set three, that is the third column purchased of the test set, and then YPRED. So since test set three has length 100 and YPRED has length zero because it's an empty vector with no factors, then obviously we cannot compute any confusion matrix. So what we need to do is to jump back up to the preprocessing first step to encode our dependent variable purchased as factors. Then the naive base function will recognize the dependent variable as factors and will perfectly be able to create a classifier that will allow the predict function to return the expected vector of predictions YPRED. So it's great that you see this error because this is a classic error in machine learning in R and that way from now on you won't make this error in the future. Or if you make it, you'll know how to fix it. So let's do it right now. Let's add a new code section here and let's call it encoding the target feature as factor. All right. And now let's factorize our column purchased. Okay, let's do this. So we will take it from start. That means that we will take the purchased dependent variable column of the data set. And then we will recompute all of these to set this purchase column everywhere for all our sets. That is a training set and the test set. Okay, so we're going to take our last column from our data set. So we're going to type data set dollar purchased, right, equals factor, and in parenthesis, data set. And then again, we're taking the purchased column that is the dependent variable column of our data set. So again, we're taking the dollar sign here and purchased to take this column. And then here we will just specify the levels or our levels are C zero and one. All right. And that's it. That's how you encode your dependent variable column purchased into factors. All right. So we're going to start from scratch now. So to do this, we can clear everything. So that's what we're going to do. Clear everything here. So we're clearing the data, clearing the script here. So I'm pressing control L to clear and that's it.